Hello. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. So, from the top left, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands, then the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Emperor, and on the bottom, the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so I have you in the center of the reading as the Queen of Cups. And I feel you're really embracing this water energy this month because you're in a position to enjoy a romantic situation, possibly a new connection. And I also feel like it will bring about quite a bit of emotional healing for you or any type of healing. I feel that it's going to raise your sensitivities in terms of intuition and also accessing healing. But it seems like it carries with it a lot of romantic potential too, especially since you're facing this King of Cups. This could very well be an ideal mate. It might be someone you're already with. It might be someone that you come into contact with or meet. It's interesting that these are the only two cups cards where there's a lot of other stuff happening around that feels like it has to do with more work and mental energy type stuff. And I'll, I'll come to that in a moment. But this does seem like it could be a point of, of solace while all of this other stuff is going on. Bright spot, this beautiful connection, strong compatibility. There's no doubt that there are two people here really on the same page, really seeing eye to eye, even with the positioning of the cards. But especially because they carry with them that, that ideal mate sort of connection, being the king and queen of cups. I do feel that you're the queen um, because it's at the center. It can be male or female, but being the the female archetype, it feels like you're more in a position to receive. And that's why I mentioned the healing, the intuition, and the love, the, the romance. So embrace that water energy this month. It's very strong for you, and it, and it will be a point of, of solace for you, of maybe even escape from some of this other stuff. So what I'm seeing with other things, it feels like there may be something going on with work or a project maybe something going on in the home environment. It feels separate from this other person, most likely. Or if it's not separate, if you're going through it with them, it feels like you're on the same page kind of battling this other stuff. But most likely, it's some other things happening in your life. With the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords, and Five of Wands, I feel like this probably already happened for a lot of you, but there's there was some kind of shift so gears shifted and information came through that made you feel uneasy. It may have introduced an element of chaos or confusion, added some level of competition to something. My sense is that whatever it was, things were the status quo for quite a while and running along smoothly. And then some sort of shift happened. It could be like a new person at work or a new boss at work, um, a change in approach to a project that you're working on, a change in even something like funding, though this feels more like approach or perspective on something. It feels like it's linked to a person who kind of, they might have good intentions, they may have made a change <clears throat> excuse me, because they thought it was the best thing, but I also feel that the person might have, they were under pressure for some reason um, to make a change, to try to improve their situation. So they weren't thinking of how it would impact you or the others that this influences. 
And so there was a bit of selfishness there and not like a lack of planning, it feels like. And it just, it's made things tough for you. I feel like it's going to sort itself out. I feel like ultimately with this emperor, the systems that are currently in place involving whatever this is, um, again, could be work, some other sort of project, maybe an academic or research project or a nonprofit or some sort of organization, any kind of thing that you're working on or a home project that whatever's already in place, like the systems that have worked before will help to even this out eventually. And this person will, I feel like they'll be noticed for what they've done wrong. So the lack of planning or maybe the, um, the selfishness that caused them to make these changes, they'll be, they'll be noticed and, and corrected. It feels like, so this does feel temporary. And the good thing is that you do have this really beautiful connection happening. That is a positive point you can look to, to try to distract yourself from what's going on and overcome it for the time being. Looking at the bottom, this Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. This feels like it could be linked to whatever's happening at the top. Um, maybe how whatever this change is has impacted you on the individual level. It feels like for some of you it could put a stop to the current work. Like work was flowing and then this change disrupted it and so you feel like you're at a standstill. If that's the case, the Two of Swords is, is encouraging you to take the time to look at what you're doing. And it's not because the fact that you're at a standstill is a good thing, but you can try to find something good in it by taking the time to look at what your approach has been and look at where there are some gray areas or maybe things can be improved. And it, it seems like it's going to require you to take a step away from it, to put things down, not be looking directly at them. You have this blindfold to kind of just go within, meditate on it in a sense, and try to figure out what different approaches you can take to whatever this is. So it's taking advantage of a standstill that's probably caused by someone else or outer forces to reassess the situation. It might not be linked to work, by the way, and this could also be different from the situation on the top row. Whereas one could be about work, maybe this is something more to do with home, but it does feel like something is, there may be some sort of delay or something is at a standstill that was flowing along nicely before. That's why for some of you it does feel linked to the other thing, but it could be a different thing. The important message is to do what this Two of Swords is telling you to do and block out everything that's going on, take advantage of the situation, tune into that extra intuition you have this month because you have the moon in this Two of Swords card it's asking you to rely on that source and you are stronger intuitively this month because of this influx of water energy and possibly this romantic connection. And the healing that's coming through and you can even see the water in this card resembling the water in the other two cards. So it's asking you to tune into some of that beautiful energy that you have from this, this point of solace and apply it to these other things that are happening in your life to help find weak points. And eventually it's going to help things to flow even better that might have felt like they were flowing before. Okay, Virgos, thank you so much. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me. Take care.